Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my project pan update. I've already done one update already. This is my second one. So we're midway through the year and we're gonna go through all the products that I set aside at the beginning of the year and see how I've done so far. The first update, I definitely had a lot more empties. This time around, I've really truly realized how long it takes to use up products and also exactly the kind of products that I should never honestly buy again because I just don't reach for them. So there's a couple products still in here that I'm like, why did I put in my project pan <laughs> to try and use up? Because I'm still not using them, even though I set them aside intentionally to use these up. Anyways, if you guys like these project pan videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up so I know to continue doing this. This is a rolling project pan for me. So I've been adding things into this. Last project pan, I did add a few products in and this project pan, I'm leaving it as is. I'm already having hard enough time using up some of these products still. And there's some that I have used up in their entirety, which we will go through first. So thank you for clicking on this video. If you have not started a project pan yourself, I definitely encourage you to do so. It just has helped me be more mindful of my makeup collection, my spending, just how long it truly takes to use up some products. And it's really helped me decide whether I should buy some new things or whether I should just totally skip because I have a lot of staples. When I use products consistently, I realize I don't need to buy something else in that category because I tried to put a bunch of products in here that I really, really like. So I know when I'm doing my makeup on a daily basis, I'm gonna like the outcome. Like I used all my makeup today on my face to create this look. And let's go through all the products I have in my project pan. Longest intro ever, but if you don't know what project pan was, I just wanted to give a little intro, but you can watch my two previous project pan videos. I will link them for you in case you're just tuning in now and wanna see kind of how this has evolved because my last video, I did really, really good. This one, I still did good. It's just taking me a long time. I'm realizing how long. The first product I used up this quarter was the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Pound Cake. I love this powder and me using this up, I was also testing out some new powders, using up some old ones. And I realized even though I love this powder, there's some other powders I love more. So that kind of helped me out in my powder journey. I really know what powders I love. I still love this one, but I'm probably not gonna repurchase because since I used it up, I started to go through other powders in my collection, which has really helped me not just buy a new powder that I don't need. And this, I actually took off the netting. I used to have that mesh netting, but I wanted to get every last little bit out of it. This powder I specifically would just use to bake or set underneath my eyes, but I've since discovered other powders that I can use all over my face, even under my eyes that are just more versatile for me. As much as I love this powder, I'm happy that I included it just to use it up, but I'm probably not gonna purchase it again, even though <laughs> it's been a holy grail powder for so long. Really eye-opening experience. I've absolutely loved doing Project Pan. Then I also used up my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. This wasn't hard to use up. I actually just finished my last use yesterday. I love this primer. I would purchase this again, but because I have other illuminating primers in my collection, I've started to just go to those without repurchasing the products that I use up. So that is probably the biggest change for me, not going out and repurchasing a product, just going to my collection and using the next thing for me. I love that primer though. I would definitely recommend it. And the mini side is a great value if in case you just wanted to try it out and see if it's any good. I don't like the pore minimizing one from Rare Beauty, but I do love the illuminating one. And in the future, if I use up more illuminating products, I would consider purchasing that again. I believe I added this powder in last month or I just put it in because I used up the Huda Beauty one. I can't remember. I'll have to go back to check my video. But anyways, it's in here and I'm dropping it. I have the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. This is a universal shade. It's just a white but goes on translucent powder. You can see I've made quite a dent in it. And because I bought the brush to go along with this product, I feel like this is something that I would in fact repurchase if I run out of it. And I would more so use this powder 
as a touch-up powder because I haven't really been going anywhere. It kind of was a bad decision for me to put this powder in. I could have put another one in that I would use more because this I more so use just to blot my face. It's yeah, it's just a touch-up powder for me, but I've been trying just to use it normally as a powder to set my face. But again, that was kind of a bad decision on my part, but I will in fact try and continue to use this up. I love it. Clearly I've hit pan on it. It's hard for me to even hit pan on a product. And that's a powder that I sound like someone broke glass. You okay up there? I think now that it's officially summer, I will start getting more use out of this. I'm going to put it in my purse. I'm starting to venture outside more. So maybe I will in fact get use out of this as I initially intended this to be as a touch up blotting powder on the go. I just haven't been on the go. And then I have two kind of cream bronzing contouring situations here that I put in my project pan. Looking back, I probably should have focused on one at a time this month just because it just would have made more sense. I could have seen myself make more progress than I have, even though I know, in fact, I have made progress on these because I've been using them both. I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair today on my face. I really love it for a natural cream contour on my skin. This is the best formula to work with if you're looking for a cream product. You can see it's dented. So I'm working my way through that. And then moving on to my Fenty Beauty cream bronzer and teddy. I have also hit pan on this previous and I'm continuing to get my use out of this. So hopefully by the end of the summer, maybe my next check-in, I might be focusing on this product more just as I get more tan and I can use this one up. So I might set the fair aside, use that more so in the winter and really focus on this one to try and use it up this summer. But I love both formulas of these. So even if I did use them up, these are products that I would want to purchase again because I love them so much for cream products. The colors are good. It just depends on the color of my skin, which one I go for, but I love both of those products. I'm also so happy that I put this foundation in my project pan as it's one of my top favorite foundations ever. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation in Golden. And I love that I included it in here because I use it almost every time I'm putting on makeup. I'm wearing it today. It lasts for me. It looks super smooth. The color of this is absolute perfection. I had this in another foundation in my project pan in case I needed to mix to lighten this. But right now I'm just only this. So that's interrupting my use on my other foundation, which you will see, but I am making good progress on this. And again, if I use this product up, I would want to repurchase it because it is one of my favorite, if not my favorite foundations currently. And it just looks so beautiful, undetectable on the skin. It just looks naturally perfected, has a healthy glow. It's not matte in my opinion. I do have some natural glow to my skin. It's not a flat matte. It's kind of like a semi demi matte beautiful foundation, but yeah, you can't really see where I am on this. It feels like it lasts forever <laughs> considering how often I use this. Let's actually take a peek and see how far down I am. I think I'm about a little under halfway right now, if I can see correctly. This is one of those things I don't really want to use up, you know? So in the past, I would probably set it aside, use another foundation and then go back to this sometime later, just because I wouldn't want to use the last bits of a foundation but I'm stopping that now. I'm not doing that with products anymore. That's the biggest thing for me that's helped me is not holding on to the last possible use or drop of a product in case someday I might need it. We're done. Then this is the foundation I was talking about that I can't actually use right now. It's just much too light. I can't even mix it because even that on occasion is a little on the light side. So this is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. I have mine in neutral. This is so close to being done though. As soon as fall hits, I feel like I could finally have the last uses of this. I did a good number on it. I was using it kind of more so at the beginning of this quarter, but now I've stopped. <laughs> I really only have a tiny, tiny bit left. So I really want to get my use out of that finally, but I just can't honestly wear it right now. Even mixing it in is just definitely not my shade. And then I've been working on my KKW concealers. I'm almost done number five. I've used one of these before in its entirety and now I'm almost done this one. 
which is really, really good. I've also made quite a dent on number six too. Again, you can't really see it, but I've been starting to scrape the sides of this one, which is a good thing. Eight, I'm still, might get more use out of in the summer, but I do go through different ranges of these shades. And I'm really glad I put this concealer in my Project Pam because it is my favorite concealer of all time. This is the old packaging though, it's longer now. And I just wanted to use these up because they're older and I would 100% purchase this again, but I'd probably only get maybe one shade and decide on which one I would use. As much as I've used up five, I'm really liking shades six and eight right now. We'll see. We'll see when the time comes which one I actually repurchase, but that will be the second number five I've almost used up right now. And then I put in the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. Again, this is a product that I can't really tell how much my use is on this, but I put this in because I really love it and I thought putting a good primer in would make me use my products more. Really great primer for smoothing the skin. I have it underneath the Too Faced right now and I feel like my skin looks really nice and smooth. And it's just a go-to primer of mine. I have been using it when I can. I mentioned this in two recent videos actually. It was in my five favorite products from five favorite brands and also in my top three for primer. This is just a go-to primer of mine now. It's a newer one, but I love it so much. And then this thing. This is where I've truly realized how long it takes me to use powder products. And I put my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer in my project pan and I use this, I swear, almost every time I'm doing my makeup, only if I'm trying something new for makeup that I'll use something else for a video. On the daily when I'm doing my own makeup, I've been trying to use this guy up. <laughs> and for the amount I've gotten use out of this, it's still not hit pan. And this is where I notice for especially powders, not necessarily creams because I can go through those faster, but powder products, I really need to step back at purchasing so many powders, like bronzers, because that's the thing that I love to test out. But truly, I have enough bronzer right now to last me a lifetime, so I really do not need any more bronzer. And this is my perfect bronzer. <laughs> I love it. Because I've been using it so much, I realized how much I love this formula, how easy it is to glide on the skin. I have it on now. It just looks natural. Because it is that mineralized skin finish formula, it just goes on so smoothly, not patchy in the slightest. You can dust it on lightly. It just works for my skin. So I love this so much. <laughs> and I'm really happy I put it in. But this was the turning point for me to realize how long truly it takes to use up a powder and then I put these guys in just to use them up because I discovered a new brow product that I really like the one from NYX and I just wanted to use these up they're not bad I still love these so much and probably would purchase one in the future but I have three Urban Decay brow blades various shades kind of try and use two of the colors on off days when I'm not filming so it doesn't look so bad like I'm just around the house or whatnot but right now I'm using blackout on my brows and I am trying to use them up. It's enjoyable to use these up, you know? I still love the product so much. I just started purchasing some more affordable products because I found that I was using these up really quickly. But I have a bunch of colors that I don't honestly match right now, but hopefully they will match come September. I want to lighten my hair a bit. So hanging off to two of these colors for that time, hopefully I'll be able to use those up at that point. So I need to get rid of the dark one right now. So we really need to work on that this summer before I lighten my hair. My last update video for my Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Milk, I hadn't used it once. And I officially have used it a total of one time <laughs> this time around. So I really haven't done much better. This is one of those products I was kind of talking about where I know I don't really need to buy this again. I don't really use these gradual tanners anymore. I wish I could get into it, but just the thought of the smell of gradual tanner and wearing that more than one night a week when I do my tan, I just don't like it. <laughs> the thought of just basting and tan at night again for more than one night a week is just horrible to me. I don't like the feeling or the smell of self tanner in general. Some are better, but just the thought of applying this like daily just troubles me. <laughs> so truly, I just should not buy that again. I'm gonna try and use it up, you guys, but it pains me to do so. And then I put this in the mix 
because I really need to use up hair products and stop buying them. And I absolutely love this so much. I'm not using it right now. I more so use this when my hair was long and really needed the body, but because I cut some inches off, it has got some of its body back, which I really appreciate. And this is the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. And it does exactly what it says. It kind of separates your hair strands to make it more of that voluminous look. It just, it really works its magic when you put in your hair before you blow dry. I really and truly enjoy this. I would use this every time I would blow dry my hair. Not when I just let my hair air dry, but when I would blow dry my hair, I was using this every time. I will be getting back into it. I just haven't been using it lately since I've cut my hair. And then the last product that I have here that I don't think I even touched once <laughs> this time around is the Beyond the Zone Flipped Out Spray-On Finisher Hairspray. And this stuff is just so intense and it gives that kind of crunchy feel that as soon as I use this, I know it has to be a wash day for me. So that is why I don't use it because I, I try and prolong my hair and not have to wash it so much. And this is one of those things that I should honestly just pass on and not even bother to try and use it up myself. So that's another thing I learned for Project Pan is not to force myself to use up products. If something's not working, I should just pass it on and add something new. So I think next time around, I'm giving myself one more time to try those things. But if it does not work for me, I am going to pass it on and we're gonna put something else in this project pan because I feel like at this point, it's not worth it. I'm gonna give myself one more try to use it up, but in the future, I'm not gonna put things in there I know I'm not gonna use, you know? If I'm past that in my life, past that stage, just pass it on <laughs> to someone else and not force myself to use it. So anyways, that is what I've learned. This is all my project pan stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I know it's not as dramatic as my first one, but my first one, I really used up all those little bits of product, so I had more empties to show you. But considering I did use up that Huda Beauty powder, that took a lot of work to do. And I used that up earlier on in this quarter for Project Pan. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you can, please subscribe before you leave. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.